My name is Mary Emma Graham. I'm in the Department of English. I am founder director of the Project on the History of Black Writing, and we have done the Margaret Walker Song Cycle. Well, I think what people see when they watch the Song Cycle is a kind of exploration of words, but put to music. And those words come from a writer who has a long history in literature, but who is not very well known. So what we do is try to bring these, make these words come alive. You hear these wonderfully performed words by a, a singer who has range that is incredible. And then the music is written by a composer who is extraordinarily talented and has m a multiple uh, kinds of musics that he can play. Well, my name is Randy Klein, and I'm a composer and a pianist, and uh, I'm from New York. Randy Klein and I go back a long way. Uh, we were introduced through Davis Lacey, teaches in the film department here. He introduced me to uh, Mary Emma Graham, and she started to give me the information on um, Margaret Walker. Around 2001, I was on the, uh, the subway in uh, coming from Brooklyn to New York. In the subways, they have a, the placards up above where you sit, and they have one that's called Poetry in Motion. Randy had stumbled upon, literally stumbled upon, a quote by Margaret Walker. And I read it, and I'm touched by it. My grandmother, it starts, my grandmothers are strong. And it ends, why am I not like they? When Randy saw that, his sensitivities just, I think, kicked in. Uh, and he kept seeing it because it was going, it's going to the same subway whenever he would take it. And I write it down you know, on a piece of paper. And I take it back to my piano and I write music to it. And that was the beginning of this project. It's a song cycle plus video image and it's becoming much more of a multimedia type work. One of the things we're trying to do is take a popular form, the spoken word or the, the recited word, and put it in a context that also teaches people. It is a kind of research intensive project. It's not research in the way that I think we normally think of research, but it is research because it requires digging deep inside of an ability or a skill and trying to turn that into something that's workable, that an audience can appreciate, that can see, can understand, that makes sense. Uh, and so we are always being tested, I think, by what we are creating uh, as we present it before the public. All of the ideas that we talk about in the 20th century, I think Walker wrote and shared the experiences of living through those things in her works, in her poems, in her fiction, in her essays. So I hope that people go to her work that's the place to start. Oh, black folks must